right, this one's for Emily who had a question about how do you take your ink that we did in class and perhaps add it to a bag or a mug or some sort of product, a t-shirt even, um, and what happens if you have this sort of excess to it. Uh, so here was our ink that um, we left off with from the last tutorial. Uh, if uh, you don't take it into the ad form, you can keep working at it in Photoshop, and I still have it selected, so you can just check out that last tutorial to get caught up on that. I'm going to file, or sorry, edit copy, and I'm going to bring it in and edit paste, Apple V, and you can see it's really large, so I'm going to Apple negative and zoom out, and Apple T to free transform, uh, because obviously that was way too big when we brought it in. Um, and now I'm just going to reset it with that Apple Zero. And I usually work one more out uh, when I'm in this stage, but it's going to be up to you. So I'm just going to purposely sort of leave a little bit hanging over that edge and maybe a little hanging over that bottom edge. Um, if you need to, let's say you're working on a cup or something, you're going to have to go into your warp tool uh, and get it to really fit on there. But if you're working with something like this that's flat, uh, it, it's easier to just go forth and I'm just going to zoom in and we're going to just go to our race and we're just going to click, click, click and we're going to try to get it as close and as smooth as possible. That actually looks pretty decent. Zoom back out, zoom back into this part, do the exact same thing. You can see I'm going right there on the edge of that pixel and getting it flush with the previous line. I'm going to keep click, 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 make sure it's A-OK. -okay. You can also select the background and just hit delete, so it's going to be up to you. Um, I'll show that next, but let's just get this one in. Um, you could leave it like this if you wanted, or you could go into your layer styles and click on your multiply, so you're going to see the textures of whatever is behind it uh, on here. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward for that one. Um, you don't, I can show another one later if you guys want to see the warp. Uh, I'm just going to zoom sort of back to our free transform, uh, just so you can see the second version. If we click on the background, I'm going to grab my magic wand, and I'm going to go back into the original background, and I'm going to, oh, I'm going to deselect. I'm going to turn contiguous on, because I just want that outside selected. You can see how it's sort of shaving that part off. Click back on layer one. Go on your keyboard, hit delete, and you see it does the same thing. As ever, uh, there are tons and tons of different ways to do that, so there's two ways for you to do that. Uh, deselect, add your multiply, and you can go ahead and save and um, put that PDF up on Blackboard. So hopefully this helps. If you want the mug, let me know, and we'll do that one next.